And the Philippines is bracing for a potentially explosive eruption of the Taal volcano just about 70 kilometers away from Manila. Authorities say it could happen any time from now. The volcano began spewing ash and smoke yesterday. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated. Schools and government offices have been shut in Manila, while the airport, which was closed yesterday, has resumed partial operations. Let's find out more about the threat of the volcanic eruption. Dr. Yasuki Aoki from the Earthquake Research Institute of the University of Tokyo joins us now. Uh, firstly, Taal Volcano, as we understand it, could have an explosive eruption at any time, according to officials. Uh, what are the major risks uh, with this type of eruption? Yeah, um, the, uh, the, uh, the major risk is the, uh, from the Taal Volcano is uh, maybe the ash dispersal. So, so there are a lot of people living in Manila metropolitan area, um, 60 or 70 kilometers away from the uh, from the volcano. Um, even even if Manila is far away from Taal volcano, if the wind direction is from south to north, the volcanic ash will be carried by the wind to Manila uh, metropolitan area. And if the if the ash falls down, then the, the, the ash may cause some health problem if you uh, yeah uh, you know by uh, that uh, because ash can come in your eye or in the land. So the uh, volcanic ash is the may probably the major problem um, in a, in a volcanic hazards right now. Um, Dr. Aoki, so the Philippine volcano experts said that they noted tremors from Taal as early as March last year, but that they were caught off guard by the sudden eruption which happened just yesterday. Is it that difficult to preempt volcanic activity? Yes, uh, generally it is difficult to uh, forecast when the next eruption is. It is relatively easy to, uh, to catch the anomaly if we have a monitoring system at the volcano, but it is difficult, generally very difficult to forecast the future, even if you catch the anomaly. And Tal Volcano... So I, I understand the situation. No, sorry, I do continue. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I think I, 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 I think I uh, ended. Uh, ah, okay. Ended my well, comment. I just asked you then, uh, the Taal volcano has quite a unique structure, as we understand it, that it actually has, is rather complex. It has a volcano system with 47 craters, uh, plus it's at the center of a lake. Does this make it more sort of complicated and more dangerous? Yes, uh, the, the presence of the lake makes the volcano more dangerous, because if the magma touches, uh, touches the water, then the eruption tends to be more explosive. Imagine. Uh, imagine that your the heavily heated pan put into the water. Then water, you know, you you see some uh, explosion of the of the water. So that the similar things ha are happening in Taal volcano. Also in Taal volcano, there are very uh, well developed hydrothermal systems. So there are very um, abundant water in there. So that makes uh, the eruption more explosive. Okay, well, many thanks for your thoughts this evening, Dr. Yasuke Aoki, Associate Professor at the Earthquake Research Institute of the University of Tokyo.